bauxite with US penny for comparison Chemscan mineral maps of bauxite or forming pistolets bauxite is a sedimentary rock with a relatively high aluminium content. It is the world's main source of aluminium and gallium. Bauxite consists mostly of the aluminium minerals gives it 3, bomite, and diaspora, mixed with the two iron oxides gothite, and hematite. The aluminium clay mineral kaolinite 4, and small amounts of anatis and ilmenite. Bauxite appears dull in luster and is reddish-brown, white, or tan in color. In 1821 the French geologist Pierre Berthier discovered bauxite near the village of Les Beaux in Provence, southern France. Bauxite with core of unweathered rock Numerous classification schemes have been proposed for bauxite but, as of 1982, there was no consensus. Vadis distinguished lateritic bauxites from karst bauxite ores, in the case of Jamaica, recent analysis of the soil showed elevated levels of cadmium. Suggesting that the bauxite originates from recent Miocene ash deposits from episodes of significant volcanism in Central America. World bauxite production in 2005 One of the world's largest bauxite mines in Weipa, Australia Australia is the largest producer of bauxite, followed by China. Increased aluminium recycling, which has the advantage of lowering the cost in electric power in producing aluminium, will considerably extend the world's bauxite reserves. In November 2010, Win Tan Dung, the Prime Minister of Vietnam, announced that Vietnam's bauxite reserves might total 11,000 mount, this would be the largest in the world. Bauxite being loaded at Cabo Rojo, Dominican Republic, to be shipped elsewhere for processing. 2007 Play Media bauxite being digested by washing with a hot solution of sodium hydroxide at 175 degrees Celsius under pressure at National Aluminium Company. Nalkanagar, India. Bauxite is usually strip mined because it is almost always found near the surface of the terrain, with little or no overburden. As of 2010, approximately 70% to 80% of the world's dry bauxite production is processed first into alumina and then into aluminium by electrolysis. Bauxite rocks are typically classified according to their intended commercial application, metallurgical, abrasive, cement, chemical, and refractory. Usually, bauxite ore is heated in a pressure vessel along with a sodium hydroxide solution at a temperature of 150 to 200 degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, the aluminium is dissolved as sodium aluminate. The aluminium compounds in the bauxite may be present as gives it 3, bomite or diaspora. The different forms of the aluminium component will dictate the extraction conditions. The undissolved waste, bauxite tailings, after the aluminium compounds are extracted contains iron oxides, silica, calcia, titania and some unreacted alumina. After separation of the residue by filtering, pure gibson is precipitated when the liquid is cooled, and then seeded with fine-grained aluminium hydroxide. The gibson is usually converted into aluminium oxide, Al2O3, by heating in rotary kilns or fluid flash calciners to a temperature in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius. This aluminium oxide is dissolved at a temperature of about 960 degrees Celsius in molten cryolite. Next, this molten substance can yield metallic aluminium by passing an electric current through it in the process of electrolysis, which is called the hall herold process, named after its American and French discoverers. Prior to the invention of this process, and prior to the Deville process, aluminium ore was refined by heating ore along with elemental sodium or potassium in a vacuum. The method was complicated and consumed materials that were themselves expensive at that time. This made early elemental aluminium more expensive than gold. As a bulk cargo, bauxite is a group A cargo that may liquefy if excessively moist. Liquefaction can cause the cargo to shift rapidly inside the hold and make the ship unstable, potentially sinking the ship. One such vessel suspected to be sunk due to this issue was the MS Bulk Jupiter in 2015. One method which can demonstrate this effect is the contest, in which a sample of the material is placed in a cylindrical can and struck against a surface many times. If a moist slurry forms in the can, then there is a likelihood for the cargo to liquefy, although conversely, even if the sample remains dry it does not conclusively prove that it will remain that way, or that it is safe for loading. Bauxite is the main source of the rare metal gallium. During the processing of bauxite to alumina in the Bayer process, gallium accumulates in the sodium hydroxide liquor. From this it can be extracted by a variety of methods. The most recent is the use of ion exchange resin. Achievable extraction efficiencies critically depend on the original concentration in the feed bauxite. At a typical feed concentration of 50 parts per million, about 15% of the contained gallium is extractable. 
the remainder reports to the red mud and aluminium hydroxide streams. Thanks for watching.